Hello, may I take your coat? I'm not wearing one. Ah, you like my outfit. Corey, are you okay? What, these old things. So what do you want to do tonight? Watch TV, go to a movie? Uh, yeah, we could go to a movie or grab a burger or go up to my room and just, you know. What would we do in your room? Uh, have you seen my new CD changer? I was with you when you bought it. Yes, but you see, it's, it's set up now, and we could go see it in my room. Okay. Oh, okay, let's go. All right. Yeah. Sean? Hi. Topanga? Hi. The both of you? Hi. Topanga, I need to talk to you. I can't. I have Feeney's history class. No, no it's, it, you have lunch now. Between you and Eric, I, I feel like I'm surrounded by people with perfect hair. Hi, Corey. No need to explain this relationship, is there? What are you guys talking about? N nothing. I I I'm just a little insecure today, but I'm sure it'll pass. Hey, Topanga. Hey, Dylan. So, you want to go out this weekend? Of course not. I'm going out with Corey. Oh, you're still with him? I figured you'd have dumped him over the summer. Would you please leave? Yeah, but if you do decide to dump him, here's my car. Locker number 168. Huh, that's a nice locker. Look, Corey, it's just some guy asking me out. It's no big deal. Well, it's no big deal to you because you're the ASCII. And why are you the ASCII? You're always the ASCII because you are gorgeous. Well, thank you very much, but give me some credit. No guys go out with girls because of how they look. But you go out with me because of who I am inside. <laughs> the only reason you think I'm good looking is because you care about me. <laughs> that was one too many. Oh, Sean, if it's any consolation, I think you can do a lot better than Jennifer Bassett. I think so. Uh, wait a minute, Topanga, have you looked at her? Okay, so she's pretty, she's tall, she drives a new red convertible. Oh, heck, I'd go out with her. <laughs> Why are you carrying his books? Well, we're trying to create the illusion that Sean's a girl, so I thought this would help. You never carry my books. Well, look at him. <laughs> look at you. You are just radiant today. So, Sean, how does it feel to be wearing pantyhose? Not Sean. Oh, you're right. Yeah, he needs a girl's name. Okay, this is easy. How about Janet? No, 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 not, not Janet. What possible difference could it make? Corey. You've thought about this before, haven't you? A little. And what name have you thought about? Well, Veronica. <laughs> Veronica is a lovely name. Oh, God. Oh, I, oh. I, I. You did that just so we could be alone? Hmm, why would you say that? Oh, the ear thing. Hey, you take those SATs six or seven times, you start losing that love and feel. You know? Topanga, are you and Corey gonna kiss? Morgan, I think that's very personal. We shouldn't talk about it. Come on, just between us girls. Right on the lips. Topanga, he's not gonna have time for you. The man has been gone for two months, and we have so much catching up to do, he's not even gonna know you exist. Sean! Corey! <laughs> It's summer? Great summer. A lot of stories? A lot of stories. You miss me? I missed you. We still best friends? The best there ever were. Good. You see? You see? Hey, I'm talking to you! Topanga, if I looked in the mirror every morning and saw what you see, I'd feel real good about myself, too. Oh, so you think that's it? You think what gives me all my confidence is my face and hair? And the fact that they're perfect? Yeah, I think that puts a little spring in your step. Oh, yeah? Well, here's what I think. Words, Topanga. Use your words. Well, am I any different now? Well, uh, somewhat less predictable, but no, no, you're right. I, I'd love you no matter what you looked like. Good. Glad you learned something. She's gonna scream now. <laughs> Go ahead, scream, scatter, make a big scene. See, cause, cause I'm a boy. Panga, 
You all right? It, it doesn't matter to me what you look like. It only matters to me who you are. See, that's my problem, Corey. I thought I was someone who thought that appearance didn't matter. But that was only because I was comfortable with my appearance all this time. But now I'm not. How shallow can I be? You are not shallow. I, you're deep. You're the deepest, most thoughtful, profound person I've ever known. How's my hair look? Well, well that's not one of your strong points anymore. <laughs> you gotta let that go. <laughs> Look, how long did it take you to grow your hair that long? Six or seven years. That's perfect. Because, because in six or seven years, you'll grow your hair back. I'll be out of my goosey-goosey stage. <laughs> Don't you see? It makes us even closer as a couple. Because now we are in perfect sync. You see, Corey? That's why I love you. Thanks. Today after school, I'll go down to the beauty parlor and get this all evened out. Great idea. This universe blows! Wasn't somebody going to say something? She's my best friend's girl. She's my best friend's girl. <laughs> oh, the heck with that. Marry me. I live in a trailer park and I have no education, but my hair does this. <laughs> Sean. Shut up, man. I'm going for it. <laughs> thanks. Thanks. I'm back. Good. All right, Topanga. I want... I want the name of the guy who did this to you. You don't like it? No, no, it's not that I don't like it. It's just that I'm in love with this girl who was never interested in what she looked like before. And now I see makeup on your face and polish on your nails and toes and stop looking at her toes. But they sparkle. <laughs> I want the name of the guy who did this to you. My stylist's name is Mr. Cellini. And Corey, it's just a haircut. It's just some makeup. It's not going to change me. Gotta go. Well, where are you going? This outfit with this hair? Hello, bye-bye. I am so at the mall. <laughs> this is my best work ever. Everything I have done until now was dreck. <laughs> this is my masterpiece. Oh, he's beautiful. Of course. I have had to call upon all of my skills and powers. I really look OK? I think I'm falling in love all over again. And you, you wet rodent, what have you done to my work? Once again, as a European, I weep without embarrassment. What are you talking about? She looks beautiful. Just like she always was. You too, Corey. Just like you always were. Corey, taking part in a research study is a ridiculous way to make money. If you need it that bad, I'll lend it to you. Well, Sean says I've got to learn to provide for myself. Well, then get a real job. Well, Sean says I'm in no position to pay taxes right now. <laughs> These guys don't even want to know our real names. I think you guys are both lunatics. Yeah, well, we'll see what you think after we get our hundred bucks. Just for testing a new shampoo? Yep. You sure there's uh, nothing to worry about? Worry? Corey, it's shampoo. They only test it on humans, so they can say they don't test it on animals. <laughs> Brenda. Hi, Corey. My little tiger likes his gravy, doesn't he? Oh, Corey likes the way Brenda does it. Ooh, she builds a nice potato mountain. And then she turns it into a horrible volcano of doom. Oh, look at the lava running down the volcano. Run, keys! Hide behind the roll. What, you don't see that? Brenda, do you have any more cherry pie? No, sweetie. I'm sorry. We're all out. Sorry. Oops, forgot. I accidentally hit a piece under the counter. Looks about your size, too. Ah, you never let me down, Brenda. Save us, Miss Lawrence. Well, first of all, I'd just like to say that I think Corey's really cute for trying. Oh, thank you, sugar. <laughs> <laughs> and that I think the biggest crisis facing this country is the breakdown of the American family. Ah, oh, you always got to go after Sean. <laughs> well, I just think that lots of other issues like crime and the decline in education. Hey, hey, lay off me. <laughs> all have to do with how we're brought up in our homes. Well, now, I agree with you, Miss Lawrence. That's it. 
Mr. Hunter? Oh, that's it. Water guy. Don't worry. He's not staying. I know your rules. No boys. What are you doing here? Oh, Topanga, when I said no boys, I didn't mean this kind of boy. This is Amy and Alan's little boy. Mm-hmm. Um, Amy and Alan's dangerous little boy. We're all dangerous in the beginning. <laughs> we'll be out late. If you two get dozy, just take a little nap on the couch. I'm glad you came over, dangerous boy. Why don't you get all dangerous on the couch and I'll get us something to eat? Okay. All right, all right. Billy, what are you doing up? Uh, he's got 64 bits. Well, he's got 9 o'clock bed. Um, Topanga, let him have five minutes. I really want to play. <laughs> Listen, Billy. Your parents have entrusted me with your care, and I am obligated to follow the rules as they have clearly laid out. What were you doing? I love you. Get to bed right now. Can't I watch TV? Sure. No, Corey. No, Billy. What were you thinking? I cannot believe you're undermining my authority. I am this child's babysitter, and I take my responsibilities very seriously. What were you doing? I love you. Uh. What, you think this is funny? No, Mistress Topanga. I, I think it's the opposite of funny. I, I think it's wood. Well, that was nicely done. Now it's just you and dangerous me on a cozy couch. You're going home. Well, then it's just you. What fun could that be? You have no idea what this is about, do you? Yes, I do. And it happens to be a very important issue, not just to me and you, but to all men and women in relationships, both here and abroad. You have no idea what this is about, do you? Oh, do I ever? <laughs> hey, Corey, you're missing a real funny one. A curly -headed keeps on digging himself in deeper and deeper. I love that kid. He is such a doof. <laughs> the lunch bell sounded, and I thought maybe you and I could grab a bite ski at this charming little place I know called the cafeteria. What would be the point, Corey? Well, first I'm going to take a step back, and then I'm going to tell you. There are three points. I'm hungry, you're my girlfriend, and it's Taco Bar Tuesday. <laughs> you would feed tacos to our child? Our what? You, you and I are gonna have a child? Wait a minute, we've only kissed. I mean, I knew I was a good kisser, but wow. Our future child, the one we'd have if we got married. Oh, that kid, would I feed him tacos? Yeah, at four for 99 cents. He's gonna be taco crazy. You're not getting that I'm really upset with you. Oh, no, my precious peach, I had that right away. Do you know why I'm upset with you? Yes, me, something I've done or haven't done or did do but didn't do properly. Now, with that said, taco! You let Billy stay up last Friday night. You'd rather be pals with our kids than a strong, responsible role model. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And yet, if I may, at the risk of being argumentative, we don't have any kids. And we're not gonna. You know why? Because we're just kissing? <laughs> that a family falls apart if there are not strong, authoritative role models at home. Topanga, it wasn't our home. It wasn't our kid. Now, I'm sure what you're saying probably makes a lot of sense, but right now my blood sugar level's dropping, and all I want's a little taco. Well, if that taco is more important to you than our child, then this family has dysfunction written all over it. How long have you been here? Just walked in. Did you come over to yell at me some more? No, I heard you were babysitting, so I brought you some tacos. Is this a trap? Just figured empty house, cozy couch, dangerous me, and maybe you. OK, OK, but before I lower my shields here, what exactly made you change your mind? I got to thinking about what you said about us being young and not having kids for a while. And my guess is that by the time we do, you'll be a pretty good dad. You know, my guess is I will be too. You know why? Because kids respect me. They do. They sort of think of me as Mr. Discipline. So we won't have kids. Because this was never about your father, Sean. This was always about you. You're the kid. You're in school. It's always about you. Well, what the heck was that? I don't know. The man just runs our lives. <laughs> All right, Sean, what was so important that we had to be here five minutes early? Oh, I, uh, just wanted you to drink this milk. 
All right, I guess I could always use a little milk. Oh, is this another one of those delightful little stunts? Actually, Topanga, I think you're gonna like this one. Sean, look what you just made me do. Yeah, sorry, man. I'll have the soup. <laughs> what are you gonna have, King Louis? <laughs> no change yet. Honey, they're about ready to take you into surgery. I'll be right here when you get back. Sponge bath? No. What are you having a seance? Why would you say that? The the candles, I love candles. The room's always like this. Honest. It just happens to be there. Um, so now let our musical journey begin. I can... <laughs> Oh, uh, that happens to be Morgan's delightful little kitty CD. I love this. I used to listen to this when I was a kid. Yes, he's charming and he's purple, but uh, he's out the window. <laughs> and now for something a little more, shall we say, uh, not that. <laughs> it's really pretty. What is it? I don't know. It came with my mom's Volvo. <laughs> Welcome to the safe and secure world of Volvo ownership. Protected by a steel cage and front and side airbags. We should get that car. <laughs> Corey? Yeah, it's me. What exactly did you think was going to happen here? Uh, Topanga, you're talking to me like I planned this. Corey, there's a bowl of grapes on the bed. Why would you say that? Grapes. Topanga, come on, I I'm trying so hard here. To do what? Well, I just think we're old enough. Old enough to do what? Well, I just think we're old enough like Sean. Sean. What does he have to do with this? No, nothing. Not, not a thing in the world. I... Look, Sean had a girl stay over last night, and he hardly even knows her. But you and I, we've known each other all our lives, and, and you're my girlfriend, and I love you, and... I mean, we should be at, like, ninth base by now. Why? So you can keep up with your buddy? No. I just think my buddy had a good idea this time. I should probably go now. No, you stay. I'll go. I'm so pathetic, I'm throwing myself out. <laughs> uh, Topanga, if what I did last night was out of line, I, I think at the very least we should be able to communicate. I don't know what to say to you. Feeny, what else you got? <laughs> Well, on the upside, I can make everyone shake their head. It looks really pretty there. Yeah. Claire says she's really happy in Vermont. I mean, she started a new school. She's making new friends. Her dad's in a therapy program, and she says maybe they'll see each other again someday. I hope everything works out for her. Yeah. So why is your house so quiet tonight? Oh, well, uh, Mom and Dad are at Morgan's soccer game, and Eric's at the store. And here we are again, alone. In your bedroom. Yeah, but if you notice, there are no candles. What about the grapes? <laughs> well, I just like grapes. Anyway, listen, Topanga, this thing with Claire, I mean, she had to grow up so fast. I know. Well, I just like being 15 here with you. Just kissing? Yeah, kissing's good. And uh, I want you to know, I, I would never want to abuse our relationship. What was that for? Hey, just because we're not going to ninth base doesn't mean we can't take a little lead off of first. Lead off of first? Ah, baseball been very, very good to me. <laughs> it's not about a doggy? <laughs> Shh, honey, don't speak. <laughs> 
Someone is turning sweet 16, and if you could be there, it would be keen. My mom wrote that. It's silly, it's dumb, I can't believe it. Oh, sweet 16 party, it's embarrassing. I'm sorry you even have to read this. Topanga? Yes, Corey? Slow down, honey, separate your words. <laughs> Tail try. Please come to my sweet 16. It doesn't mean a lot to me, but it means a lot to my mom. So what do I tell my mother? Am I your boyfriend? Yes, you are. And I'll be there. You're the best. Ah, uh, Topanga. Sweetheart, listen, there may be a ch slight chance I won't be able to come. I'll just die. I'll just die, Corey. I know I said it's not important, but it means everything. I only turned 16 once. Corey, you have to be there. We have to dance at the party together. My parents dance together and my mom's sweet 16, so we have to, too. Topanga, am I your boyfriend? Yes, you are. And I'll be there. I know you will. And you want to know why I know? Because I've got a good heart. <laughs> well, I was going to say it was because you wanted everyone to love you, but yeah, because you have a good heart. <laughs> Topanga, there you are. I have been looking all over for you. I mean, I've been here for 20 minutes and I couldn't find you because of the size of this turnout. I mean, a person could get lost in here. But there I go, running off at the mouth, keeping you from mingling with your interesting guests. Well, off you go, mingle. Mingle, mingle. <laughs> no, Corey, I know I said a lot about this not meaning anything, but the truth is, now that the time's here and we're about to share that special dance, I realize how important a moment like this is in our lives. Well, I realize that, too. In fact, I Wrap really... it up! <laughs> the end. Uh, Topanga, Topanga, your Aunt Lucy, she's over there. And for how long, no one knows. In fact, no one knows how long any of us are going to be here. <laughs> Where have you been? Me? Yes, you. I have been back and forth across this room. Must have been 20 times looking for you. A guy gets worried is what happens. Oh, well, you're out of breath. Looking for you, but I found you. And you're here, and now I can breathe easy. I'm sorry. Accept it. See you later. What? Where are you going? Uh, nowhere. Because there's still the matter of that special dance that's so important to you. Me. Us. I'm glad it means something to you, too, Corey. Puh. Huh. <laughs> How's the fight going? How'd you know? <laughs> what, you believe that? Hi, Sean. I had a very nice time. Thank you for inviting me. How could you do this to me, Corey? You knew how important this was. Look, Topanga, if, if it helps, I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, I ruined your party, and I know you'll never forgive me. I guess this is where I get hit on the head with a frying pan. Okay, what's he talking about? Flintstones. He had to be at two places at once. Oh, the Water Buffalo Pebbles episode. I wonder why I love this girl. Corey, I've been sitting here since everybody left, and I've been wrestling, too. I've been wrestling with how you could have possibly left me here alone. And I know you, and I know you have a good reason. Tell me your good reason, Corey. I was helping Frankie get closer with his dad. Looks like you did. Look, I, I want you to know I, I would never hurt you. And I'm sorry we couldn't dance together in front of everyone. In front of everyone doesn't matter. It was just a special dance, and I wanted it to be with you. May I have this dance? I thought you'd never ask. Now the sweet 16 You are my angel You're my teenager. Poetry in motion, huh, Frankie? Well, I see you have an appreciation after all. So the two in the ring, how many rounds do you think they'll go? Those two? Oh, they're gonna go the distance. That will be together. You know, Corey, when we dance close like this and you're holding me, I feel safe. Like, nothing could ever happen to me. Hang on. I would never let anything happen to you. Uh, move one step to your left. Yeah! 
Where are all those guys talking to Sean's girlfriend? Well, Sean and Jennifer broke up this morning. Look at her, she's already on the prowl. Well, how's Sean taking it? Are you kidding? Sean is Sean. You can't keep Sean down. Get up, Sean. <laughs> did, did, did you see that? Yeah, I saw that. Well, what do you think it means? Nothing good for you. There she is. Everything's okay. Topanga, you have no idea how much he loves you. We'll just get out of your way. Sorry I'm late, Corey, but the pie took forever, and I wanted it to be perfect for your big dinner tonight. Thanks, but I'm afraid we've both wasted our time. He'll show up. Yeah, he'll show up. In the meantime, I'll just stick my beef brochettes back in the oven until they're ruined. <laughs> Look, Corey, I've got to go to dinner with my parents, and you have got to lighten up, mister. Aren't you going to answer that? Oh, let him worry for a change. <laughs> He doesn't even like tennis. Corey, look at yourself. You're a wreck. Don't you see, Topanga? Sean doesn't need me anymore. He's got Jennifer now. Look, Corey, when you and I first started going out, I never kept you from seeing Sean. Because I understand that there's something about a best friend that no one can replace. You understood that? Of course. Why would I spend the entire day baking a pie that I know I'm never going to eat? Because you're a sweet girl. And Sean deserves a sweet girl, too. A girl who understands that a best friend is part of who you are. And if she doesn't accept your best friend, then she's really not accepting you. Yeah. So what do you think I should do? I think you should forget about dinner here, clean up the kitchen, and in about an hour, go have dinner at Chubby's. Why? In about an hour. Topanga. <laughs> yes. It was I who made the call. But why? It's time she knew. That's right, Jennifer. Corey and Sean have kept their relationship alive despite your evil attempt to keep them apart. Because in the end, Jennifer, true friendship is stronger than the lure of a cheap kiss. Hey, I'm talking to you up there. <laughs> so, even though you swore you wouldn't, you've been sneaking behind my back to see him. Well, gang, the good thing is things are finally back to normal. No more secrets, no more lies, no more sneaking around. Yeah. Yeah, we can do whatever the heck we want to do together, whenever we want to do it. So, <laughs> what do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? <laughs> see you at school? Yeah. Yeah, okay, I'll see you at school. Okay. <laughs> Two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. Okay, now. What do we take from this poem? <laughs> Where's the good shopping? Well, why don't we ask our concierge? Concierge? <laughs> no, not you, Topanga. How could someone as sweet and honest as you get mixed up with one of Sean's evil schemes? Because of this. Why don't I show you to your suite, and then we can map out your day? Yeah, buy yourself some heels. It's a living. <laughs> don't forget, tomorrow morning, sunrise nature walk. Wear comfortable shoes. Good night. Good night. Chocolate mint? Right on your pillow. <laughs> she your girl? Sure is. Mr. Lucky. I know. Zeer goed gespeeld. Good night. Good night. So tomorrow's the big day, huh? Yep. Tomorrow morning, Corey Matthews turns 16 and mobile. And I've worked out all the details for our big birthday road trip. You can get your father's car tomorrow night, right? Well, naturally. I'm 16. It's my right. He's probably filling up the tank for me right now. This is a life landmark. This is the first Corey drives road trip. I'm not going with you guys to some R-rated movie. Uh, Van Damme takes his shirt off. Auga! <laughs> and that... It's only the beginning. The best part is we are seeing it in Atlantic City. Why would we go to Atlantic City when we can see it right here? Because we can. Because we can go anywhere. Because tomorrow I got wheels. I am free and independent. Tomorrow I am a man. Who gets a clown burger? <laughs> I collect the little hats. You want to take a road trip? You want to go off with your friends? That's the first adult decision you're going to make? Yeah. 
fine. There you go, pal. Come on, let's go. Yes. I don't know. I mean, part of me knows I shouldn't get in that car with them, but then there's the other side of me, which isn't sensible, mature at all, wants to get in that car with them and go auga. <laughs> Thank you for your attention at this very difficult time. <laughs> you are going to go after them, aren't you? No, Amy, I'm not. It's too bad guys and girls have such a different idea about what a date is supposed to be. Yeah. What goes on in their heads? Want to find out? There's two of them. Hey, what goes on in your heads? Topanga. 24 hours a day, it's the Topanga channel in here. Oh, who's a good boy? <laughs> Hey, Sean, I might have been a bit protective of Debbie this morning, and I didn't fully consider your point of view. I never knew I had a point of view. <laughs> you know what, Topanga? Everything's worked out for the best, because I've decided to be a girl and see what it's really like. Not in that dress, you're not. <laughs> well, that's why I was counting on your expert assistance to help in selecting the proper female accoutrements. You want me to dress you up like a girl? Yeah, Topanga. Make Corey pretty. <laughs> Sweetie, you have to come out eventually. Don't wanna. <laughs> okay, bad. Oh, bad. Bad, bad. You know what? I look... I look fat. <laughs> fat is the least of your problems, baby. I know. Maybe it's just not a good color for you. What? Hey, you guys, we can do this. It's just all in how you present yourself. What? Oh, no. No. No, no, no. Waitress! <laughs> how you doing, honey? Cora. I'm Cora. I'll be your waitress this evening. My hosiery is still bunching. <laughs> what are you doing? Ooh. What was that for? I wanted to be the last one to kiss you before I kill you. Corey. Spangle, my favorite part about our relationship is that we, we've always been able to talk to each other about anything. So I want you to talk to me. What was that for? I wanted to be the last one to kiss you before I kill you. And I know how young and stupid this is, but I've always believed that we'd be together for the rest of our lives. Stop time. What? I want to call stop time now. I, I want to stop time because I know that if you keep on going, then you're going to get to the bad part. But I know that if, if we stop time, then we're going to be together for the rest of our lives. Hang on, I, I, I called a stop time. You, you can't cry. Nothing happens during stop time. We're just together. Please don't, don't cry. My family and I are moving. I don't care if I have to walk to Pittsburgh. Nothing is going to come between us, all right? We're going to be together for the rest of our lives. Okay. So there. I'm as young and stupid as you. I'm sorry I was afraid to talk to you. Here you are trying to make me feel better. Corey, what's going to happen? Nothing. 
if two people who care about each other as much as we do can't hold it together, then there's no hope for anyone. No. I mean, it's gonna take something a lot bigger than Pittsburgh to break us apart. What was that for? I wanted to be the last one to kiss you before I kiss you again. Marry me. <laughs> Buy a house, start a family, and live in the same city. Corey, we can't get married. Look, I know we'll struggle at first, but all couples struggle at first, but I, I figure we get a couple of part-time jobs, cut back on expenses, and find an abandoned home in an upscale neighborhood. I mean, pretty soon guys are going to be lying enough to ask you out. I mean, with, with me not there, why shouldn't you accept? What about you, Corey? I know a million girls who would love to go out with you. Really? Because I was thinking about ten. Corey. <laughs> it's a little tension breaker. So where does that leave us? I'm leaving for Pittsburgh tomorrow night. Well, it's a long walk to Pittsburgh. So does that mean I have to give you back your jean jacket? <sighs> no. Keep it. It's yours. Like I am. Good. Because I wouldn't have given it back to you anyway. Corey, what are you saying? I came over to say goodbye. That's hard enough. Spanger, listen, we don't need to say goodbye because you're not going anywhere. You're not moving. Corey, what are you saying? My parents are in the car waiting for me. We're leaving for Pittsburgh. No, you're, you're not moving because we're, we're supposed to be together like we've always talked about. So you can't move because we don't deserve that kind of pain. Corey, will you just give me a hug and a kiss and say goodbye to me? No. Goodbye, Corey. I love you. So if life doesn't want me and Topanga together, then you can't fight life, can you? Corey! Hang on. I missed you. I missed you so much. Hi, Topanga. Hi, honey. Your parents want to come in? Actually, there are no parents. So your parents dropped you off? I'm betting no. <laughs> I couldn't go without you. I wasn't doing too good either. Topanga, your parents don't know you're here, do they? No. First of all, we are not the enemy. We understand that you two want to be together, but this is not the way to go about it. I'm calling. Listen, I promise no one is going to take you away from me. I promise. We have to. Corey, I could have sat and talked to you on the phone every day. But it was just the phone, and every time I hung up, it got harder for me. I just tried to stay busy. Well, does busy include going to the school dance with your new friends? How'd you know? It was a guess. It was just something to do. And I had a lousy time, because all I thought about was you. And you missed a phone call or two. What were you up to? Listen, if I missed a phone call, it was because I, I was out at the mailbox checking for a letter. You cannot make adult life decisions without adult life experiences behind those decisions to make them stand up. Mom, I love her. So you say, Corey. But what does love mean to you at 16 years old? You tell me what love means to you. Mom, listen, I haven't been together with the Panga for 22 years, but we have been together for 16. Okay, that's a lot longer than most couples have been together. I mean... When we were born, you told me that we used to take walks in our strollers together around the block. When we were two, we were best friends. I mean, I, I knew everything about this girl. I knew her favorite color. I knew her favorite food. And then we got to be six, you know, and, and Eric made fun of me because it wasn't cool to have a best friend that's a girl or to even know a girl. Yeah, and you listen to me, idiot. <laughs> so for the next seven years, I threw dirt at her. I like to call those the lost years. 
You were the one who made him throw dirt at me? I mean, she, she gave me my first kiss. She taught me how to dance. She, she always was talking about these crazy things, and I never understood a, a word she said. All I understood was that she was the girl I sat up every night thinking about. And I'm, when I'm with her, I feel happy to be alive. Like I, like I can do anything. Even talk to you like this. So that's, that's what I think is love, Mom. When I'm better because she's here. And now she won't be. I have known Topanga for 16 years, too. <laughs> it's hard not to love her. Everything Corey says she is, she is. And no matter how old Corey is, it will be hard for him to find better. Mom. You're my son. I never want you to be in pain. To Feeney believes we love each other. I believe that when you find love, you hold on to it and cherish it because there is nothing finer and it may never come again. Did you hear what she said? Yeah, she said you're staying here. <laughs> hey, Mom. Hey, Dad. How was your night? Okay, I'm gonna go now. Your dad is scaring me. No, no, no. You don't have to go anywhere. Everything is just fine. Good night, Topanga. <laughs> I'm coming too. You. Hi. How are you two this evening? Well, you're home a little late this evening. Yes, we are. Isn't that interesting? Corey, don't make a big deal of it. No, no, no. I, I just wanna know. Um, who had the car last? Him. Really? Mm -hmm. Dad did, don't you know? Corey, let it go. No, no, no. I just want to know what happened to that house rule. Um, you know, the one that goes, whoever had the car last puts gas in the tank. Sorry, Cor. I forgot. Uh, well, Alan, you're about seven blocks late for sorry. Wait a minute. Let me get this straight. You're out with your girlfriend. You legitimately run out of gas. You pushed the car back seven blocks just to yell at me? No, I just wanted to explain why we were home so late and to say thank you. Corey. And thank you, too. OK, look, I have worked very hard to be on this team. You two just happen to be here. So I would really appreciate it if you would stop pushing the buzzer just because you like the sound. OK, fine, Miss Smarty Pants. If you feel that you can do better than us, then the buzzer is yours. <laughs> Sorry, last time. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> Clean that. I mean, we're answering questions about TV and comic book trivia. Does it really make us feel intelligent? It is why we are the returning champions. Uh, let's get our priorities straight. Tango, let's see, Tameka, let me see you. Let me see you tousle your hair and just flirt with that camera a little. May I just say that I'm not really comfortable with all of this. I mean, before we had questions that required real knowledge, and sure, they were tough, but they made us think. And I thought that was the whole point of the show. Well, the point of the show is to attract an audience. I suggest you look at your audience. It's good to be cool. Okay, I'll be Kiki. Aloha! <laughs> For a zillion points. Milk, where does it come from? <laughs> Cows is right, but not the answer we're looking for. <laughs> Boys. A carton. More specific. A milk carton. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah! Kids <laughs> win, parents lose. OK, here he comes. OK, Corey, give me another one of those tough SAT questions. OK, here's a doozy. Kept me up most of the night. Which of these ingredients does not help you make mud? Dirt, water, or turkey? Turkey. 
Correct. Wow, Sean, I didn't even know that one. Uh. <laughs> that came from Feeney's prep course? Well, it was only one of the tougher ones. <laughs> Let me see that book. Uh, see, Mr. Feeney, right, right here after uh, uh, the question, which is sweeter, sugar or salt? Sugar. Wow, two in a row. <laughs> heaven's name. Mr. Feeney, we got a few issues to discuss with you. Yeah. We just came from taking our SATs. Yeah. How did you do? Yeah. <laughs> That's why we're here, sir. I mean, for more years than I care to remember, you have drove us nuts by filling our heads with dates and ideas and numbers and concepts. Yeah, and with the last three weeks of that course of yours, drilling us, pushing us to the edge. Yeah, and making me eat cake. Five pounds right here, baby. <laughs> And now that it's all over and we've taken the test, we had to come here and tell you to your face. Thanks a lot, man. We finally understood why you pushed us so hard. We're really glad you did. John, I got people who care about me. You know, Sean, I think Mr. Turner's right, okay? I mean, we got one more year of high school and the humidity in Hawaii is gonna make my hair go, woo! <laughs> well, I wanna go to Penn State. And I wanna go where she goes. Anyone surprised by that? Whoa, whoa, okay? All right, Topanga all packed and ready to go, except you have no suitcase and no sleeping bag. Why, Miss Topanga, I am flattered and more flattered. Corey, I'm not going. And less flattered. My aunt wouldn't let me spend the night away. Unsupervised. Unsupervised? I'll be there. That's kind of the problem. She feels that at our age, it might be improper. Listen, Topanga, we are old enough to make these kind of decisions on our own. And now your aunt comes along and puts the kibosh on the whole deal. I'm calling her, okay? Corey, what exactly did you think was going to happen this weekend? Topanga, I don't know. I mean, there's a beach, there's a moon, there's you, there's me. I'm sorry. I can't go. You know, I can't believe that you're going to let your aunt get in the way of us being together alone for a weekend. Topanga, why doesn't this mean as much to you as it means to me? Look, that's not fair. I don't think it's very fair either, okay? You lied to me. You're right. I did. I was just worried about being alone with you overnight. And you should have told me that, okay? If you didn't trust me, Topanga, you should have told me. And you can also tell me, when did you ever say no to me that I didn't listen? When did you ever worry about being alone with me? Never, Corey. I was worried about me. I was worried about what I might do alone with you. And the beach, and the moon. I know I'm not ready yet. Listen, I know things are going to happen between us when they're supposed to happen. And I know I'll wait until they do. Yeah? How do you know? Well, I just know that the best things in life are worth waiting for. Yeah. I feel that same way about you, Corey. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Sure. <sighs> no, you're a very sexy boy, Corey. Really? I'm a sexy boy. Thanks. Can't wait to tell Sean.